The ranking question is perfect for when you need people to place options in order of preference. The best way to rank is to drag each option to your preferred spot, but you can also use the drop downs to rank separately. I'd like to take you through how to set up your question and how it looks when you view your results. Once you've added a ranking question to your survey, fill in your question text to ask your respondents what you'd like them to rank. Then add your ranking options below. Try to limit your ranking options to around five. If you add too many, it can be hard for people to decide on meaningful rankings. If you already have your ranking options saved elsewhere, click bulk answers and copy and paste them so you don't have to type them out one by one. The use previous answer choices option lets you bring answers from a question on a previous page to this question. It's really helpful if you have a checkbox question that asks people to pick options that apply to them and you want people to rank their choices afterwards. Just choose the question you want to bring the answers from, then choose if you want to only bring the answers the respondent chose or the ones they didn't choose. It's often a good idea to add a not applicable column as well. So if the ranking options don't apply to everyone, they can choose NA instead of ranking the question at random, which isn't great for your data. The options tab lets you customize even more. For example, click randomize, sort or flip rows if you want to show the options in a different order for each person that takes your survey. This helps make sure that the order of your answer choices don't influence people's selections. When you check out your results, your ranking question will show a bar chart with a weighted average for each answer choice. But how do we weigh each option? Well, the top ranked option is always weighted the highest and the bottom ranked is weighted the lowest. So in a question with five options, the highest ranked option would have a weight of five and the lowest ranked option would have a weight of one. Below your chart, you can find a breakdown of how each option was ranked overall. The total column shows how many people assigned a ranking to each option. The score column is the weighted average of each option, so you can easily see which option was the most preferred. And a top tip, click on score, then click sort descending to conveniently show your options from the most preferred to least preferred. It even changes the bar chart to make it easier to read. From the display options, you can even show the exact weighted average in the chart by clicking data in chart. Then sit back and see which options your respondents preferred.